Welcome to Adip Tutorial. This time we introduce you the line binding function of the Starry Bit. You can see there are line tracking sensors and comparators here. And you need to prepare the black tape like this. OK, now open the schematic. And look here, this is the schematic of the line tracking sensor. Here are the three line tracking sensors. The control port actually is the pin 1 of the micro bit here. Each tracking sensor is connected to a comparator. When the tracking sensor touches the black light, the analog voltage value read by P1 analog in changes. The infrared signal from the sensor is sent to the comparator after it is received. If the sensor recognizes a black trace, the comparator will output a signal to the microcontroller. Here, a method of reading the analog quantity is adopted. The moving direction of the car is judged by the red analog quantity. Now, let's see the PDF we provided. Click on Find Line. This part gives illustrations about the moving directions determined by the analog values by pin 1 read by the sensor. Now look at the code. Open Google Chrome. Import the code according to the path. Open it. can't move smoothly because the code is a bit too much. Now see here, this is the code to set the LEDs. But the moving directions of the car are only this. And here, on start, initialize the motor. And then here sets the control port of RGB LEDs, the control number of LEDs, and the brightness of the LEDs. And here sets to display rainbow LEDs. Below here is the same as above. Now move to here. You can see that the 20 to 25 LEDs are set to display independently. That is, the cycle shows red, green, and blue. Finally, here is the judgment of the car movement. First, adjust the brightness of the RGB LEDs. Then set the control port of the tracking module. Determine the value read by the line tracking sensor with if statement. There will be a value when we pick up the car, put it down, all the black lines are detected by each sensor. We need to determine each value which is red. More than 1,000, the car will move forward at a speed of 500. Between 800 to 900, turn left. Between 500 to 600, turn right. Between 200 to 300, move forward. Okay, that's it. Next, open the download plugin. Now download the code to the micro bit.
You need to make some black traces with this black tape before. Look, the car is following the black traces. Now look at new micro hyper. Open the code according to your path. See this code? Reference the microbit header file. Then import the NeoPixel library. Set the control port and the number of RGB LEDs. Set the colors of the LEDs. Define all the displayed LEDs. Here is the defined RGB LEDs on the left, on the right, and the back. Finally, define the motor. Due to the editor, the car can't move as long as the code of the colorful RGB LEDs is executed and this problem may be solved when the software is officially updated. Here just to display the static LEDs. Also, download the code to the micro bit and you can see how it works. This is pretty much it for this time. Sure, you have learned the line binding function and its principle of the standard bit. Next tutorial, we will introduce the last function to use the mobile phone to control the standard bit. If you have any questions, post on forward. We will find you soon. See you next time.